Well, hey there, friends. Today I have a grocery haul for you. Um, I think that this grocery haul will actually be a few grocery hauls all rolled into one video because the grocery store I went to today was just, they're very overpriced, but they had something I wanted. Um, so I went there. <laughs> and I didn't have a list and nothing was, there weren't that many really great prices, so I just picked up a few things. We are at um, Mother Hubbard's Cupboard right now within our pantry and within our fridge. It is bare bones. We really need a big grocery shop. So that is what you are going to see within the course of this video. So I'm going to flip you around and show you what I picked up. So I'll start over here with the bread products. I picked up this loaf of uh, extra thick sliced cinnamon bread with raisins. So I know that the kids will really love this in the morning with their breakfast. Um, with some butter. So this was 50% off, normally $4.29. So got a bit of a deal on that. I don't usually get this sort of thing, but um, because it was on sale and it was going to be, you know, just a little over $2, I thought this could kind of be a fun treat. My thought is, is that I will um, just take a few slices out at a time and actually freeze this. Because it is a reduced price, I imagine that, um, there's just a chance that soon it will mold, and I don't want that because, um, like I said, we'll only eat like, well, they will only eat like probably like a, a slice or two for breakfast, so I don't want it to go bad before I can actually use it. And then I picked up um, this wheat bread. Again, this was 50% off, and it was $2.49. The cheapest bread that they actually had at this grocery store was two for $5, so this was a much better savings and I liked that it was 100% um, whole wheat. And then for myself, I picked up this Silver Hills um, Sprouted Wheat Bread. This will be really great for um, my Trim Healthy Mama. It's like non-GMO verified, and it's got like 16 different kinds of seeds and all kinds of yumminess, so this, oh, I'm so excited to eat this. <laughs> um, and then I picked up these Nan Breads. So I initially had picked these up to do mini pizzas for the kids. I've got some sauce in the fridge and I've got some cheese. And on Friday nights, the day I'm filming this, we usually do pizza. So I'd initially picked these up um, and as we went throughout the store, Colt wanted to literally hold everything on his lap and these broke. And as we went throughout the store, I realized I didn't really need these, but I bought them anyways because he broke them and I don't know. <laughs> I just felt like I should buy them. Um, and then I also picked up two packages of multi-green English muffins and these were $2.49, 50% off, so $1.25. So um, that was a good deal. At this grocery store, they have an area where there is 50% um, off baked goods, so um, pies and cakes and cookies and um, bread, and that's where I picked up some of these pink sticker priced items. And then I got some apple cinnamon Cheerios. And if you're curious and you're wondering what this is, um, everything in Canada is English and French. So um, everything has to have English and French because it is a bilingual country. So it's kind of fun to um, start recognizing some of the words. So then we picked up some chicken. I got two packs. Um, if you're curious about prices, I'll just show you. This was $6.32 for three chicken boobs, and then this one was $8.08 .08 for four of them. I got a um, package of some extra lean uh, Black Forest ham, and this was $5.78. I also picked up two Asian pears. Um, the reason why there's not much more fruit in this particular portion of the haul is because everything at this grocery store was so expensive. Um, my buy price for loose fruit and vegetables is usually just a little over a dollar and under. And this was, I think, $1.29 a pound, and that was the most inexpensive fruit that I could find at this grocery store. Aubrey did request yellow pears, which is the Asian pears, uh, so I just got two of them. One of these pears, is, when it's sliced, is more than enough for both my kids, and then there's even extra um, if Shane wanted some or I wanted some, something like that. So um, I just picked up two of those, and then I got two cans of 
sliced peaches in water. And the whole reason I went to this grocery store was for these water drops. These are sweetened with stevia, and I absolutely cannot drink my water without them anymore. Well, I can, but I don't like to. So the tangerine grapefruit is my absolute favorite. I love these things. And then I picked up a pack of caramel rice cakes. So for the kids' dessert, um, we don't do dessert every night, um, but when we do, I have been giving the kids rice cakes, and they love them. So it's the caramel ones, they feel like they're getting a treat, but it's um, something not as super duper loaded with sugar as like ice cream or cake and stuff like that. Goodness knows that stuff is delicious, but I can't have it in my house every day. So um, the rice cakes have been a really great um, trick and a really great treat for them. Then I was looking to get some salad stuff. And again, the salad stuff was just super duper overpriced. So I ended up picking up one of these um, pre-made salads. It's originally $8.63 and it was 50% off. And then the dressing came free with it. So we love this particular salad. This is something we often get uh, when we go to my in-laws and different things like that. So it's one of our favorite salads. And so that will be for dinner tonight. I pick it up. Two packages of large omega-3 eggs. And then lastly, holy, that's quite a glare. <laughs> um, I got one of these large pizzas. So like I said, Fridays are usually pizza night for our family. And for the past few weeks, I've been making pizza, or we've actually had people over, and um, or we've gone over there and we've done pizza. So it's been pizza every Friday for several weeks now, and it's a fun tradition that we really always look forward to. So I was going to make it. I have the ingredients, but this pizza is originally $7, and it was 50% off. So I couldn't pass it up for being just $3.50. So that will be for dinner tonight. So this is... This particular portion of the haul, this was about $65, just to give you an idea of the prices here in my particular area of Canada. Well, hey guys, this is my part two of my grocery haul. I've got a lot to share with you, and this kind of extends all the way onto the other counter, so we will um, get going here in a second. I did want to say that and this is not quite everything that I need to get. I still need to get some more produce. This grocery haul is for two weeks. Um, we've sort of been just in a two-week mode, and that's worked really well for us. And my hope is to eventually, what I would love to be is a once-a-month grocery shopper. <laughs> that's goals, but for now, it's just two weeks. So I am short some key components to some meals that uh, I have on my menu plan. My Walmart did not have them, so I need to head out and get a few more things likely tomorrow or early in the week. So let me share with you what I've got. So I needed some Truvia. I was out of it, and I need it for my coffee. <laughs> so um, I got, this is the, just the packet brand. Um, they were out of, like, the pot of it. Um, so I got that. And then um, whole grain spaghetti pasta some strawberry cereal bars, and then I picked up two boxes of these um, Walmart brand um, protein fiber bars, not protein, fiber bars. So I'm hoping to stick those in Shane's lunch, and hopefully that'll be like a nice sweet treat for him. I got two boxes of the Great Value Chewy Chocolate Chip Granola Bars, and a package of... Um, and a box of the Mott's Fruit Sensation um, Fruit Snacks. And we got some great value veggie crackers and two boxes of Ritz Bitch Sandwich Crackers. Wow, that's a mouthful. Um, so these are kind of just the things that we put in the kids' lunches and for Shane's lunch as well. So um, then down here I've got some apple rings. These are just the dehydrated apple, um, apple slices. Two bags of rice cakes, one in cheddar and one in buttered popcorn, and then some pretzel sticks. And then I picked up myself some dry roasted peanuts. That's a snack that I like to have on Trim Healthy Mama. It's really good for me, like around 4 o'clock when I've got an hour to go for dinner. I'm really hungry. Um, I can just have a handful of those, and they help satiate me until dinner. 
Then I picked up a can of Hunt's tomato sauce. I tend to always pick one of these up when I do my grocery shopping. I use this as a pizza sauce. I use it for um, any dish that calls for a spaghetti sauce. I like it because it has no added sugar. Picked up a can of tuna, some mustard, some sugar-free ketchup, and then this is a new purchase for me. I've never got these before. These are porridge oats. Um, so it's a large flake oat, uh, and it has oat bran, wheat bran, flaxseed. It's 100% natural, high fiber, no additives, and no sodium. So I'm excited to, um, I want to make some homemade granola uh, this upcoming week. So I think I might just use some of what I have left here in this jar to do that and uh, supplement with some of these porridge oats as well and make a good granola. So then onto the fruits and veggies, I picked up some grapes, four green bell peppers. Shane has requested um, stuffed, what is it, stuffed peppers? I do not like green peppers. I'm not a green pepper fan at all. So I thought these would be, um, I can make stuffed peppers for him and give them to him for his lunch. So that's what I'm going to do with those. Two heads of lettuce. I can't seem to get out of the iceberg lettuce rut. <laughs> All the other, like, romaine lettuce, butter lettuce, everything else is like $5 for a thing. And I just can't swing that. So this is cheap for me right now. I know it's not a superfood. It's not got a lot of great nutrients in it. But it is better for me than eating, um, you know, something that's not good for me. Um, so I got two avocados. We're going to do fajitas one night. And then I also want to do um, a Southwest salad. And there's an avocado dressing that will go with that. So picked up two of those and two lemons. I'm enjoying a glass of lemon water in the morning. It's kind of a really refreshing way to start the day. Um, a pack of mushrooms. We are going to have steaks tonight for dinner and so I'm going to saute these up. And I got these um, carrot chips. So I decided to get these instead of the baby carrots because I've been getting baby carrots every time I've gone grocery shopping and I just thought this would be something a bit fun and the kids would get a kick out of it. A coleslaw mix, broccoli, bananas, two English cucumbers, celery, three peppers, orange, red, and yellow, two pints of grape tomatoes. I love these things. And then two loaves of bread. We are going through bread like crazy now with Shane um, working. He just he takes a lot of sandwiches and we just go through bread like crazy. He likes white bread, so that's what I've just picked up for him. And then these little things were his purchases. He got um, some candy bars for work. And then these are my Mother's Day gift. They are these beautiful yellow tulips, which I'm so excited about. He has to work on Mother's Day, so he got me those. And then he got me, he knows the way to my heart, he got me um, two of my favorite liquid uh, water enhancers. Oh, I love these things. They're sweetened with stevia, and I cannot live without them. So he knows the way to my heart. So over here I have got my frozen veggies. So I've got some corn and green beans and two bags of broccoli. I was looking for cauliflower, couldn't find it at Walmart, so that's another um, veggie that I'm on the lookout for. I got two packages of cheese. Now, when I was laying this out, Shane was like, I thought you didn't like Kraft cheese. So there's three different brands that we have um, that we really purchase, Kraft, Black Diamond, and Cracker Barrel. We always get Cracker Barrel if we can get it, but it's often more expensive, and this was really on sale, and I realized, he's right, I'm not a big fan of Kraft cheese, so we may end up taking this back and just getting some Cracker Barrel cheese from Costco, because I still have to go there. My father-in-law gave Aubrey some turkey pepperettes, and then these Johnsonville cheddar brats, oh, they're so good, and these were on sale for $2 each package, so I did price match them. Um, I think I might actually go back and get more of these, because... We go through these like crazy in the summer. We have a fire pit, and these are really great to um, roast over the fire. So I may just get some to throw into the freezer. And then for my stuff portion of my grocery haul, we needed a grocery bag. Not grocery bags. Garbage bags. Oh, I've got some of those. And um, some shout for stains. I've been reading this. Um, it's a laundry care ebook from... Living on a Dime, I think it's called. I'll try and link the website down below. Anyways, I'm reading their 
ebook about laundry care and they really recommend Shout. My mom always used Shout to get stains out. We just have never really used anything for stains, so I decided to pick this up. It was like just a couple bucks. And then we needed toothpaste, so we got this Colgate Optic Wipe. I like to use these Clorox or Lysol disinfecting wipes um, to clean my toilets, so I picked up some of those. And Borax. I've been reading up on Borax quite a bit, and I decided to get some. We have very hard water, and um, our clothes are starting to get dingy, so we don't use very much soap. So all of the factors that I can eliminate, I've already done. So I'm going to start adding some Borax to our laundry routine. And I needed some body wash, so I price matched this Dove body wash. There's also a rebate on this on one of the um, rebate apps. I think it's Checkout 51 that has something for this, I think. So I'm going to look at that and maybe get some further discounts. And my beloved Tresemme Green um, hairspray, <laughs> I... Shy, I, I bought a different bottle of hairspray and I am so regretting it. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Anytime I dare stray away from my tried and true favorites, I regret it most of the time. So I got my big old huge bottle of this beast because it is the best hairspray and I love big, big hair. So that's my jam. I needed some shampoo, so I tried out, I'm going to try out this Garnier Whole Blends. It's the honey one. I had a coupon for that, so I thought I'd give that a go. Deodorant was on sale, so I picked up some deodorant. And it is getting on to be shorts season, or at least get your legs out of the long pants and put on t-shirts on your bod and make sure that you're summer ready. <laughs> so Mama needed to get some razors. And then I needed to get some cotton balls. These I don't use for anything other than soaking up my Scentsy Wax to change my wax. It's the easiest way. Just drop one or two cubes into your, um, into your dish and it soaks up the wax and bingo bango, you're good to go. So I needed more of those. And then I needed concealer. So I decided to try this Maybelline Master Conceal. Um, I'd seen some good reviews on this on YouTube, so hopefully it works well. I also have been wanting to whiten my teeth for a very long time. So I just decided to spring for some Equate brand um, whitening strips. Um, I have gotten Crest in the past, really enjoyed them. Um, I went to school actually for dental assisting and there isn't much of a difference between all these things. So got that. And a thing of aluminum foil. And then in this bag, this bag is filled with clothes for Colt. So I'm going to do a total separate haul of my kids' um, spring and summer wardrobe. So that's what's in this bag. And then here, this wasn't part of my grocery haul, but I'll just share with you what I have. Um, I ordered some Cincy laundry stuff. So this is our washer whiffs in Honeymoon Hideaway. Make your clothes smell amazing. And then I use uh, Cincy's fragrance-free laundry soap. So I've got that. This whole bottle lasts me for an entire month, at least. Um, some, like, usually more, because I order a bottle every single month. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that is this haul. And I got two packs of chicken. That's the other thing I got. It's already in the fridge. So I am going to put all of this away. Do you like my bags here? How's that for you? <laughs> I forgot my um, reusable bags, so I just stuffed them all in my sink. Anyways, that's it for this portion. <laughs> well, hey there, friends. I have a bit of a Costco haul for you. Um, I am almost completely done with all my grocery shopping. I think I'm going to get a few more fruits and vegetables throughout the week, but otherwise, I think this pretty much completes most of all of my grocery shopping. I did, however, forget butter, which is the whole reason I went to Costco. And I also wanted to get some large jugs of vinegar. We like to use that with our laundry. Um, as a softener, and I forgot those too, so um, I still have to pick up those things, but other than that, here is my haul. So I got some blackberries, some strawberries, bananas, provolone cheese, and Aubrey has needed new pajamas for a very long time. The poor kid is in, she wears size uh, 5, 5T, and she has been wearing um, size 4 in a lot of pajamas. So anyways, we love the Kirkland brand pajamas. They wear so nicely. This is a set with uh, pants, shorts, and then a top. 
And we got some of our favorite veggie straws, our Greek yogurt. I love to get this kind because it's plain and I can sweeten it any way that I choose. So that is always a good deal and I always get my Greek yogurt from Costco. And two tubs of uh, sour cream. Again, this is always a better deal at our Costco than just even when they're on sale at a grocery store. We got uh, milk and then some lunch meat, this Pillars Black Forest Ham. And then some turkey bacon, which I absolutely love, love, love this style of turkey bacon. It's more kind of like, um, almost like a Canadian bacon, where it's kind of really meaty and not so much um, bacon-ish, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But it's uh, delicious. And then I got some cream for my coffee and a thing of ground beef and some sausages. So that whole order right there was $120. Crazy. <laughs> um, and then we went to the mail and I picked up my Amazon subscribe and save order. Now I had mentioned in a recent vlog that I hadn't really planned to do the Amazon subscribe and save anymore, but um, when I went grocery shopping to look for new shampoo and um, dish soap and stuff, I just decided to go with Amazon subscribe and save because honestly this was cheaper than the grocery store and I had mentioned that I was going to start using the Scentsy laundry or er, dish soap but I totally forgot to order it with my last order so um, we're just going to use the Dawn for now. It's the same stuff that was in my recent um, vlog. Uh, this L'Oreal Color Radiance um, shampoo is so good. I actually have to dye my hair tomorrow. And the conditioner, which, oh my goodness, this stuff is so thick and makes your hair feel so good. So, I got all of this, and then I also got uh, a Scentsy order today, which was kind of fun. So, lots of good things coming into our home. So, anyways, I hope you guys are doing great, and I will talk to you later. Bye!